What's going on guys? I want to come to you guys with another really quick video. While it's on my mind, just wanted to talk about my experiences with dealing with a property management company and with managing properties myself. So before I jump into the video, I do want to show you guys a quick clip and I will post the link to this video, but this is from when me and Alicia were managing one of our old older properties a while back. Father's Day to everybody. Unfortunately, I can't celebrate it the way I want to because we have water going all over the floor of the rental property. So I got the water key right here. $18. I don't think they got a cheaper one somewhere. How do we do when we have to pay for the front and then call the insurance? No, they'll deal with it. And then we'll never All right, guys, so we got water coming up from under the base of the toilet. And it's backing up from the tub, too, and it's looking like the sewage line or the sewer line is clogged under the house. So what? Yeah. Alright guys, so that's what was yeah. clogging the baby wipes. That's what was clogging the line, yeah. baby wipes. baby wipes all right guys so just to kind of give you some background on that experience that was when we didn't have a property management uh, company in place so we had a tenant that flooded out the place she had called us just the entire morning and this was on a holiday so we pretty much had to stop what we were doing run down to the house cut the water off make sure that we could find a plumber that was actually open on a Sunday to come out and just take care of everything and by the time we were done we had to replace all the floors, replace the baseboard, had to run a line down through our, our plumbing line, and it just, it wasn't a great experience. And with that being said, we do have a property management company in place now for the few properties that we do own. And I'll just kind of talk about what that experience has been like um, hitting on three different points. So to start off, we'll talk about price. In general, a property management company, property manager will be anywhere between 8% and 10% of the monthly rent. And they usually collect half of the first month's rent just as a, a tenant placement fee. So if you're thinking about it in terms of just being expensive, then, you know, if you have a house that's collecting $800 a month in rent, um, about $80 of that is going out and half of that first month's rent is going to the property management company. Now, when I was first managing um, properties, when I first got into real estate and really didn't know what I was doing, I was trying to manage the properties myself. I spent a lot of valuable time just dealing with problems and issues that I really wouldn't have mind paying somebody else maybe $70, $80 a month for and really anything that you can think of that a tenant could call you about or that could go wrong with the house because of a tenant um, things that just a lot of problems that they cause themselves I really don't mind paying that 10% so in the case of the property that I showed you in that video for me to pay 10% I think at the time we were collecting like 725 um, a month off of that house for me to pay $72 and 50 cent for somebody else to go and take care of something so that I can enjoy my holiday, enjoy my family and just have that time freedom. That price is well worth it to me. All right. So a second point that I will hit on is repairs. When you're dealing with a management company, usually they do have a markup on repairs, whatever you might pay for it to have um, a house repainted or whatever it is, then you'll be paying the management company a bit more than what you may pay um, another general contractor or contractor who you're just dealing with directly. Now, when it does come to repairs, I will say that this can kind of go either way as far as being a pro or a con. Just my experience with the property manager that I'm with now, he doesn't really charge me too much for repairs that need to be done or the repairs that we've had to have done so far. The additional fee that I pay on top of just whatever he pays, his general contractors or his rehab team, that's something that I really mind paying just so I can have my time freedom and not have to worry about the issue myself. But on the other hand, you do have some management companies who will take full advantage of this. This clip is from one of the before and after 
houses that I did, but we redid this house from head to toe, all of the systems, everything completely new in the house. And we passed all inspections. But by the time the investor who bought it got the house and was ready to place the tenant, the management company that he was with told him that he needs to have a bunch of the stuff redone. So he went back in, redid a lot of the stuff in the house. A lot of stuff that just really didn't need to be done. And in that situation, you know, I'm pretty sure the management company made quite a bit of money on. All right, and the very last point that I will hit on, and I've kind of been talking about it with the other two points, is just time freedom. When you get to a certain number of houses in your portfolio, I mean, it can be like dealing with another full-time job, just dealing with tenant issues or repairs that need to be done, evictions that need to be done, when they have to be done, move-ins, move-outs. Um, I mean, that's just something that, you know, you have to take care of yourself. And again, if you have a, a holiday, like the situation where I was in, where we pretty much just had to stop the fun time that we were having and go and take care of the issue, that is something that could very well come up. Since the time that we have put a management company in place, we have not had to go out to any houses for any kind of issues. And our check comes in um, a little after the first of the month every time. So at this point in the game, we're completely hands off and the passive income that we get is indeed passive income that we don't have to just put a lot of our personal time into. We just let the management company deal with that. But I will end all three of those points and say that all of this really just depends on if you're dealing with a good management company or a bad management company. The company that I'm dealing with now, just a really straightforward company, always keeping me in the loop of um, everything, keeping my repairs on point, making sure inspections are good to go, tenant issues, all that, not something that I have to uh, deal with. With dealing with this company, I actually am making money instead of losing money. But on the other hand, if you have a company just like the one that I mentioned that is doing un unnecessary repairs just to get a bit of extra money, or maybe they're just not even managing the properties right to the point where you have tenants coming in and out, they're not placing good tenants, not collecting rent on time or whatever it may be, then you could be in a situation to where you're paying a company just to lose money. But I definitely say if you guys decide to go with a management company, one of the biggest things that you will want to do is to just research, research, and research the company. Most of the big name companies and even some of the smaller ones, I mean, they'll be on just a quick Google search where you'll see any kind of complaints or even just, you know, if they have happy customers who they're dealing with. One of the resources that I really use to check just different reports from investors on property management companies is biggerpockets.com. It's like the Facebook for investors. Uh, type in the management company in the search box and you'll have just all kinds of um, reports and reviews on these companies that will help you to decide. Now, on the other hand, if you are just the type that likes to be hands-on and you're good with managing people and um, maybe you don't have um, a lot of other things in the business that you need to be taken care of, you can just put more time to it, more energy into it, then you know, maybe you would just want to manage the properties yourselves. So just my point of view on the topic, guys, um, I mean, you know, a lot of this stuff really just depends on who you are or where you are in your business. So let me know what you are doing. If you have properties, if you're dealing with a property management company, if they've been good to you, if you have some horror stories, let me know, put them in the comments box. If you haven't done so, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.